Welcome to Retire Too Soon, and today we're going to be doing brakes on the Dodge, rotors and pads. Once you lift the truck up and get the tire off, I like to put the tire underneath the vehicle just in case it falls. Make sure that it's stable and it's not going to fall on you, so I have a jack and stuff. You're also going to need a place to put the caliper when you take it off so you don't break the brake line. Sorry, I'm out of breath. <laughs> Alrighty, I haven't even started. Alright, so you can come in here. Right here on the top, it's going to be a T45. You need to remove these two to get the this caliper off, lift up, take off, put down, and you'll be able to get the pads out. And then there's two more bolts here. You take off to get the this metal piece that holds the caliper so we can just pull off the rotor. All right, here we go. I don't know if you guys can see that, but T45, put it on a ratchet. So on the caliper bolts, there's gonna be a little boot. When you get elevated, just push the boot back and it'll release the, the bolt. Next, you just have to lift up and out from the top. All right, uh, I didn't compress these in enough to make my life a little easier. But pick up out and it slide right off. You just gotta make sure you compress it enough to release it. All right, next, you need to slide the pads out. All right, this. Slides out the back, slides off the front. So, there's the old ones. Next, gotta take off the two bolts that hold the bracket on. To get these two bolts out I used a 16 millimeter which was really tight this bracket comes right off and then you're ready to pull the rotor off I put on the new hardware both sides other new one just place old ones Hopefully you can see it. Alright, oh. All right, get the new hardware on. So it looked like the same that it came off. Slide the new rotor on. And then reverse order. Put this, put the Alpha bracket back on. After you get tight, here's the old pads versus the new ones. And also, uh, on the rotor, it's not too bad, there's a little bit of lip, but not too bad. 
Next, what I like to do is I take an old little pad, stick it back in there, and then I use a seat clamp to compress the pistons. Make sure you do it flat and even so they go back straight so you don't find the seat clamp. Tighten it up, pistons are all in, using the old pad. Next, we gotta install the new pads on. And then you can press these in, make it a little easier on yourself. See, like that on both sides. And it's just slide right on. This is the boot I was talking about that goes around the bolt that holds on the caliper. I want to get the pads on, then slide the caliper bottom, then top. Sure in and then put your screws back in, bolts back in. Once you get everything tightened up, make sure you get the rubber boots over the bolts. Next is a good time to clean out all these zerts and grease. Once you get the other side done, Put the tires back on, put it on the ground, check your brake fluid, go inside, make sure you have a firm pedal, pump it a few times if you have to, and you need to take it for a test drive. When you leave, make sure there's nothing in front of you, go a few feet, make sure you can stop, and then slowly brake in the pads and the rotors. Um, I'm planning on in the future, I don't think I'm gonna do it today, I was planning to do it today, but I'll do it later on. I want to flush the brake fluid and get it all clean. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, punch, kick, smash to wherever you have to do. So, subscribe. Hope this video was helpful. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.